pivoting for sure tonight. So I'm glad that you're all on the call. I'm glad that you're here. And we're going to ask from the field tonight to uh, unmute yourself after um, some of our guest trainers here uh, share some of their tips. We're going to ask some of you folks out there, some of our teammates, um, the field, to share some tips on uh, – sharing the tech that uh, you find helpful. So without further ado, I'm, I'm very happy to have my sister, Lori, here. Where am I'm I? very grateful. Can you see? Where am I? Lean into the camera. There you are. Oh, there I am. Lori. Then we have Darlene back there, Reimer Frost. You guys all know Darlene. She's trained lots of times. And Jen Moyer, who, Jen, it's great to see Jen up here. She's been dealing um, has been a single caretaker for her dad, her ailing father, who's uh, been ill. And um, those are tough times when you're a care, you know, a caregiver for your, your parents, as some of you may know. So we're grateful to have Jen up here to have a little R&R &R time. And how delightful that we're able to sit here in the great, you can see we all got our jackets on because we're out in the front porch and it's kind of cool. And so uh, I'm grateful for these ladies to be here tonight and share some of their tips on uh, what they have uh, utilized in, in sharing our technology. So um, welcome, ladies. Great Thank to you. have you here. Um, so, Lori, why don't we start with you? Um, okay. Let's start with some, some tips that you have, uh, you know, that you'd like to share with the field for uh, sharing this technology. Hi, everybody. Um, nice to see you all. Thanks for being here and thanks for the support um, of um, just being willing to roll with the, with the changes that sometimes have to happen. And I've been training a little bit between the UK and with you guys recently and I've shared a fair bit of um, what has worked for me. My big um, playing card is building relationships um, and then thereby building trust. Um, but I try to keep a little bit of an eye on our Facebook um, posts and things. And um, I really felt like I wanted to share something from one of our appreciated and beloved teammates from out West, uh, a teammate by the name of Candy Scott. Many of you would know, will know Candy. And I don't know if Candy's on the call tonight or not, but Candy is a brilliant communicator and, um, and she made a comment on one of Terry's uh, posts this week where uh, he put up, let's celebrate each other and, and what we've done in terms of accomplishments this particular week. Let's share how we've been able to um, uh, advance the mission and share the tech. And I thought Candy's comment was superb. So um, with your permission, I'd like to read to you what Candy had to say. And it was a little bit of a, of a different approach to um, to uh, directly selling the product. So here's what Candy had to say. Um, for me this week, it wasn't about how many products did I sell. It was about how well did I educate a new customer. And that's what builds in repeat orders that I made this week. I was grateful for the opportunity to educate a customer on how Vox Life is improving function who had not had previous success with the product. And I think that's a very key point. Um, Darlene and I have had lengthy conversations about, you know, creating um, the wrong expectation when you uh, present the product and the tech to people. So, um, so this uh, particular point that Candy's making plays right into that. Um, so this is the story with the customer she's uh, telling us about. Candy says he received insoles as a gift from someone else, but had no concept of what made our insoles different and consistent wear was not addressed at that time. So the balance test was the key for him and a discussion about how that balance would improve his function and comfort as a short order cook on his feet for long hours. We added in socks for the daytime wear and, and bedtime wear to aid in his repair and recovery at night. So two key points there. Daytime wear, uh, the HPT has a role, and then nighttime wear, 
for repair and recovery is also a key element to, um, you know, building in health and wellness. And when this short order cook understood the how and why of the tech, Candy could see the lights come on in his eyes. And um, it takes time to educate and build relationships, but that creates customers who want to be box lifers, as we call them. So thanks to the sale price, says Candy, buy two, get one free, she was able to offer this gentleman enough affordable product to ensure his success. Um, and she says, when he is successful, I will be successful. And it's taken Candy 3.5 years to build those relationships and a customer base. And all of those people are now committed to wearing and purchasing more product and not just getting by on one or two pairs. So repeated individual customer orders for Candy this past week consisted of five Neurovax patches, five extra large athletic crew, one Voxterra, three large charcoal wellness, one knee brace, and two of the colors in wellness and three no-shows. And um, so I just think that that was a, a, a hugely important point to make and I think Candy made it so well. Um, she just took the time to circle back around and educate somebody who had had an initial exposure and, um, and just build in some understanding for this guy and just take the time to make him feel like, you know, his situation really mattered and that Vox Life cared enough to do what they could to, um, to, help, to help him out. So I think that's a, an amazing tip. All credit goes to Candy Scott. And we thank her for the comments and we thank her for the work that she does to advance our mission. And I thank you for listening. I hope you'll take it to heart. Great. Thank you. I mean, that's a, that's an amazing tip, um, Lori, that I think we should all take to heart mm -hmm. as associates with this technology. It's, it's, it's up to us mm -hmm. as associates, as representatives of this company to do the best we can to understand this technology. Mm -hmm to the best of our ability, ability so that we can um, have the ability to educate those that we're trying to share the products with. And so, you know, a lot of times um, people don't realize that, you know, the importance is that the technology works when you wear it. It doesn't work when you're not wearing it. And so the importance of having the technology on, on a regular basis and, and making sure people understand that is vitally important. So thank you very much for that. And thank you, uh, Candy Scott, because that was a lovely comment on the post. And I'm so grateful for all of you that are out there doing the best you can to share. But we, you know, as we always said, um, we had a, a brother in our church, Bob Lloyd, who said, the only room in my house is the room for improvement. So we all continue to do our best to try and improve in sharing this technology, but that's a great tip, so. And on that point, I really think um, that came for me out of just being plugged in. The more that you plug in, the more there'll be a, a, a takeaway of some sort. And we're never done learning in, in terms of this tech and in terms of just generally life. So um, I picked up on that from Candy and we, we sort of all know it, but it was a really, really good reminder. And, um, and I also think too, like, we can we can take away from that too is not to give up on people is if they have you know a sour taste in their mouth for whatever reason to um circle back around and i think darlene reimer has an excellent story to tell about that i don't know whether she's going to tell it tonight or not but i mean just the the opportunity that we have to be together at times like this to kind of brainstorm and and strategize and and just really learn from each other because you know Terry might have been one of the first guys in, Kevin, uh, in terms of the Vox Life, like belly to belly sales approach, but no one's got it all figured out. And boy, if we all pool our resources, we can be a force to be reckoned with. And I, I think that what Candy had to say was powerful. Anything Candy has to say is powerful. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, so next. Okay, Jen. Okay. I saw Darlene give the thumbs over to Jen. So, um, Jen Moyer, just a wonderful friend. Um, so delighted that, uh, that she's able to come up on our uh, Tech Talk with Terry, maybe. <laughs> so oh, I'm just thrilled to be up here. Um, yeah, it's been uh, quite a year with my dad. And uh, my tip 
um, first of all, I want to say to Candy's point yes. of, you know, building relationships. Um, I had someone reach out to me uh, a week and a half ago who I met uh, at a course I took three and a half years ago. And um, so I went and met her and it was my actual first face-to-face -face meeting with anybody since this COVID. And um, so I'm sitting at a coffee shop with her and she keeps referring to the socks, the compression, the socks, whatever. And it took me quite a while to get the point to her that it, it's not the sock. The sock just delivers our technology. And it took me about four times saying that. And then all of a sudden I saw the light bulb go off in her mm -hmm. head. So I knew that, you know, my point that this is a technology, it's not a sock got through. So mm -hmm. that's, it's very important that people understand that and that you watch for their expressions and, and their um, facial expressions and whatever to you can see that they get it right mm -hmm. the body yeah. language yeah yeah the body language so but um i have been a little bit distracted this year um i've been with vox for f over four years now and this is sort of the first time i've had to sort of split my time and things like that um so my tip to you is um, stay engaged. Mm -hmm. So even though I don't have a big Facebook presence, um, I was doing a, a newsletter for my team every month. Um, I finally sent out uh, my first newsletter since last February, uh, a week or so ago. But stay engaged. Even though uh, I'm not posting a lot and things like that, I'm on every single call. I don't miss the corporate calls. Um, I, I read the posts, I read the testimonials, um, I try to reach out to as many uh, existing mm -hmm. customers um, as I can, uh, but you can only do what you can do. Mm -hmm. But don't just take it and sit it on a shelf, you know, stay mm -hmm. engaged. Uh, if on you, some level. I yeah, think. yeah. If you can't, um, you know, I personally, because I look after my dad 24-7, I can't send out a lot of messenger um, um, messages to Facebook uh, <coughs> friends and do a lot of cold calls right now, only because I know I won't be able to respond in a timely manner. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that's okay. Everybody, we all have lives. Mm -hmm. uh, we all have things that get distract us. But my my tip to you is just stay engaged. Um, you have to dig down into your belief in the product. Like mm -hmm. this is a product that no one in the world has and we've only just begun. Mm -hmm. So that's my tip. Just stay connected, stay engaged, do what you can because at some point, you know, I'll be back in the game full mm -hmm. force, a hundred percent. Absolutely. I, I think that's, a, that's a great point because, you know, there's a thing called life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you and know, sometimes you have no control over yeah, it. Right? Well, a prime example is here, Carol Romkema was just so excited, who's just an absolutely wonderful lady, wonderful teammate, um, who was so excited about doing her first training for Vox Life on the call here. And, you know, thank God that it wasn't more serious than what it was mm -hmm. on, on, you know, the, the quadding accident with her grandson and nobody was um, tragically hurt. But you know, she uh, she just couldn't do it. So as teammates, we yeah. we picked that up. So what a great opportunity mm -hmm. for all of us um, up here sharing some time in the wilderness um, and, you know, shooting some ideas around about, hey, what can we do when we get back to share with the, the team when we get back on, you know, how to present the product better and, and so on. So what a great opportunity. We decided just to come up with this mm -hmm. call and, and share some tips. And we hope to hear from some of you um, as the night goes on, as our training goes on tonight, on some tips that, that you have for the field as, as well, because, you know, we certainly don't know it all. Um, 
And, and staying engaged really allows you to learn more. Mm -hmm. And it kind of reminds me of that commercial with the cookies. You know, if you let go of the rope, don't let go of the mm -hmm. rope. If you're, it was, I think, Chips Ahoy or something. If yeah. you let go of the rope, you're going to get lost. So mm -hmm. just don't let go of the rope. Well, and with the release of all these new technologies targeting different um, specific areas of the brain, you know, you got to stay on top of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. right? Absolutely. That's like, another, that's tip two yeah, for you. Yeah. <laughs> I said no. I said only one tip, didn't I? <laughs> we'll but, take it, Jen. You yeah. know, you, you really have to, you know, listen to the, the training calls that Dr. Mark puts out mm -hmm. on those specific technologies and understand what you're talking about. And just to, even if it's in your own mind, you don't have to, uh, necessarily be out there i'm really missing the events mm -hmm. right like yeah. I, it's as we all are sure all yeah. of us um i did events you know two three a week yeah. so yeah. you know i'm not concerned right now about um you know how much product am i selling and things like that i just want to make sure that number one i stay engaged mm -hmm. i stay educated yeah and i stay motivated yeah. yeah, and I think that's important because, you know, we, we don't know in our day-to-day -day, day -day activities who we're ever going to run into, mm -hmm. and right. you can never fire the gun if you don't have it. That's so right. the gun is always having product on you, always having, you know, that edu educational confidence in our product mm -hmm. to be able to, to share it intelligently, mm -hmm. and, you know, which is, which is awesome. So those are great tips, and that's one thing that I love about Darlene, who's sort of sitting back in the shadows here, <laughs> trying to hide. Her and her, her, and her husband, um, Kevin, just arrived today and sort of nicely got unpacked. And we said, oh, by the way, Darlene, you're doing a training call with us tonight. So um, we're just delighted to have Darlene, um, who has done some amazing trainings for the field, and her husband, Kevin up here to the lodge. So kind of like the Scuttlebutt Lodge. We're up yeah. here talking around the fireplace here. Um, but, uh, you know, you've been in this for quite a while. And as a practitioner um, involved in this, um, education has been huge. I know that from your standpoint um, has been been huge. So what, what kind of tip or tips can you give the field, Darlene, on, you know, helping them be better at what we do? Well, my... Probably my first tip would be be prepared. So I was not prepared for this. <laughs> so I yeah. bombed on that one. <laughs> but my, you know what, even more so than the education is, I guess, understanding uh, why you got into this. So if you're a rep, uh, if you're an associate, if you are doing this as a business, um, what was your what was your purpose behind it? And that will direct how you're how you're going to be doing stuff. So my biggest thing is education. If people understand, like what Lori was talking about with candy, if people mm -hmm. understand what the tech is and what it can do, uh, they'll wear it. I, I have a husband who's a complete skeptic, and I basically got down to after the first year of being an, an associate, took all of his other socks away and said, sorry about your luck. You either wear these or you wear nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's now coming to grips with the fact that it actually might be doing something. But I'm four, I'm almost four years in, I'm three and a half years in, you know, like this, it takes an awful long time. Mm -hmm. So my tip is, um, perseverance, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it's, it's basically stick with it. Uh, the person who introduced the socks to me was a client of mine and she told me that they didn't work and that I should look into it because it was really scientific. And I looked into it and I'm like, you're darn right. It's scientific. And if everything that what they're saying about this is true, uh, we need to get this product on our bodies, whether it helps or not. Sure. And that is my number one motivation to get it on people is because of what it would do for them, not symptomatically. And mm -hmm. when people will come back to me, so Lori was alluding to this story. So I had a guy <laughs> troll me uh, on one of my posts and said that, oh, a box seals are plummeting. And then uh, Terry Randall, bless her heart, was in there like a dirty shirt. And she's like defending me. And, um, and here I am, I'm like... I PM'd you <laughs> and because the therapist in me says there's something else going on here. And sure enough, he had bought some socks at a show, uh, I believe maybe lower States anyway, we'll put it that way. And, uh, and they were supposed to cure his diabetes. And I'm like, no, they don't cure diabetes. And let me, you know, do you want, do you want me to explain what they do? And then that might help, you know, figure out what's going on. And so a, I don't know what he has for product. I don't know how long he's worn it. Um, I don't know what he was expecting. Uh, and I don't know what his situation is financially. 
So there's a lot of components to somebody complaining. So my heart as a therapist went out to him and says, I got to know some of these factors before I tell you where to go. And if you answer those, all those things, and I need to tell you where to go, I'll tell you where to go. <laughs> but other than that, I'm assuming that he will turn around and become a wonderful uh, client of Vox Life. And it doesn't have to be with me. It can be for the person that sold him the socks that was going to cure diabetes. You know, like, <laughs> it's not about the sale. It's about how many people we can help because that pushes the mission further. So Function, not feeling. Function, not feeling, yes. So yeah. you'll be hearing a lot of that in the next little while. <laughs> But uh, to round off the story about being persistent, so the person who told me the socks didn't work, um, I continually bugged her for the next uh, two years about the product, and she's and she tried it faithfully. She tried it again for well, the first first time it was a day, and it didn't work. And then I said, you need to try these product this more. And so she wore it for I think a week and a half, and it didn't work. And then about I don't know maybe six or seven months later, I says you need to try them again. And so she tried it for two and a half months and they still didn't do much. And then the patches came out. I'm like, okay, forgive me. Um, you need to try the patches. You need to, this is going to do something for you. I just don't know when, and I don't know what, but it has to do something for you. There's, there's no way it can't do something for, for you. Mm -hmm. And so she tried them and she fell in love with them, became an associate. And she has gone from one massage a week to once a month. And she's gone from pain injections every four weeks to now she's six months in between pain injections. That is perseverance. Yeah. <laughs> right there. Yeah. If yeah. I had given up on her and said, you're right, they're just not going to work for you. She, but that, but you that, know, you know what that, that shows me is your ability to posture, yeah. understanding the tech, understanding the science of what it does and knowing that the body will respond, we just don't know exactly when. Some are don't make promises this. you can't keep. Exactly. You know, this is this is confidence in the product itself, not in the symptomatic relief. And those who've listened to me know that that's my that's my tried and true. Um, mm -hmm. This is about what it does to the brain and the body, mm -hmm. not about how it's going how it's going to make meet your feel expectations. Better. Yeah. 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 And you know, you are going to be better, even if some of your symptoms. I mean, I people that know me, I have chronic pain, and it's it's not great, but it's a heck of a lot better than what it would have been, but it's also me taking me three or four years to get to the point where it's like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay now. Yeah, so perseverance um, comes with the ability to posture. And confidence. And confidence, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. absolutely. So that's a, that's a great tip. And it's, as we said before, I mean, um, having the confidence, having the experience doesn't come overnight. It, it, it comes in time, it comes with sharing. Um, and so that, that, uh, ability to persevere is so important to be able to get the experience. You, mm -hmm. you don't get experience unless you persevere at mm -hmm. something. And, mm -hmm. you know, to, to, to take for example, there's a lot of people that probably, um, couldn't run this fishing lodge and take care of mm -hmm. this thing. And I couldn't in the beginning anyways, but I didn't want it, you know, to, to, to fail. So I persevered and I mm -hmm. continue to do it. Now it's just second nature, right? Mm -hmm. But there was lots of times where I wanted to quit and sell this mm -hmm. thing or lay a match to it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. But um, perseverance is, is is huge. And especially in this, because it's so scientific. And innovative and ahead of its time. Yeah. yeah. And, and for those of you that were blessed to be on um, Jay's first uh, mentorship call, and you see some of the things that he shared about how he figured this out and how um it works it, it just it leaves you nowhere to go but wow yeah yeah you know um amazing so so that's a that's an amazing uh tip um darlene it's it's just uh, uh perseverance is is again ties in with what you said mm -hmm. jen about you know staying engaged mm -hmm. and um and uh you know educating that ties into what what candy said as well so um, I'll just finish off with, with my little tip that I believe is very important. And then we can open it up to the field for, for people that want to share. I think the, the biggest thing that I could tell you um, as a tip when you're sharing this, this product with people is don't be too eager to sell them a pair of socks. Um, don't be too eager to sell them a pair of insoles. Be interested more than interesting. So listening is such a key factor to that. Be interested, not interesting. 
um, you want to show um, as much as you can interest in what they're dealing with, what they're, um, um, you know, what they're feeling, um, what they might be struggling with, um, what their life is like, kids, you know, do they get stressed out? Do they, you know, listen and ask questions, right? Um, get them talking. And so be more interested than interesting. And um, if you, if you, if you do that when you're talking to people as opposed to thinking, oh, I got to sell them a pair of socks. I got to sell them a pair of insoles. I got to do, no, be more interested than interesting. Relationships. And, and that's, a, that's, that's a key element because we want to be able to, you know, outfit them. We've got different technologies. We have our HBT. We have our CBT, our cognitive boost technology. We have our meta patch. We have our Neurovax patch. We have, you know, um, so many amazing things, our, our REM patch. And so we want to make sure that, you know, that if we're um, interested, we'll learn more about what they're dealing with so that we can set them up for success better um, with our technology. So that's my tip. Be interested more than interesting. And uh, you'll find that, uh, that that may help you um, down the road as well. So what I will do, um, if I would like to hear some tips from the field, um, we want to try and keep this call relatively short tonight. We're at uh, just over the half hour mark. Um, so anybody that uh, wants to share a tip, please feel free to unmute yourself and say hello. Hi, Terry. <laughs> it's Jean. Hello, Jean. Jean. How Yay. are you? Hi, Jean. Uh, I, I want to thank these ladies that have shared, and you too, Terry, because I am one that does get discouraged easy, but I also know that the relationships is the most important key. And uh, uh, even though I haven't sold a lot recently, uh, I've been really excited about how I've been able to share since my surgery yes. and sharing how, how using the technology in the hospital and before and after that has kept me well amidst all this COVID. At 80 years young, <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, in two weeks, 80 years young, and uh, I want to say thank you for the encouragement I received, even though I haven't sold a lot, but I do have one question. I know we, as regular associates, can't sell the, the um, oh, the special socks, and I've had a call today, and what happens in that case? Do we just pass them on to somebody who can sell them? Like one of the medical practitioners or how do we handle that? I had a call today from somebody that was a contact from a contact and they wanted to buy the compression socks. Yeah, you can either, you know, Jean, you can either pass them off to somebody on your team that might be a practitioner or, you know, post in the team page and, and, um, you know, uh, look for somebody that, uh, that uh, is in our group on the team vaccination page that you have a customer okay. that's looking for it. And um, a lot of times um, you'll have people reach out and-, and you, know, hmm? you know what I do? What do you do, Jen? What I do is, um, you know, the compression socks that we have are your standard 20 to 30, what is it? Mercury. Mercury. Yeah. Luminers, mercury. Yeah, so, you know, you can buy those at Walmart, you can buy them wherever. So, I still, <laughs> with that customer, um, Would suggest keep, the knee high? Keep, keep the, no, keep the relationship or whatever, but get one of my associates who is a practitioner and can purchase in on the conversation as, you know, a, a three-way call. Oh, whatever, good idea. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So get their advice. Um, and usually what they'll do is they'll ask, you know, have you been prescribed um, compression by your doctor mm -hmm. or whatever, uh, just to make sure that, you know, it's not going to hurt them or whatever. There's a practitioner but, in the conversation. Yes, yes. exactly. I yeah. just bring in a practitioner. So I, I stay involved with that and keep the relationship because that customer may have uh, referrals and, mm -hmm. and a network who, of, people, yeah, of sure. people who want insoles or things mm -hmm. that you can sell. So, Gene, I would go right to the top and get to Kevin Duguay. 
<laughs> yes, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Dear old Kevin, he's always there to help me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I appreciate all the team, really. Uh, but what somebody just mentioned about, I think it was you, Terry, about the, uh, if you can't sell the compression, sell the knee height. And I've also encouraged them with that if they haven't been told they have to have compression. Right. You know, um, just as a, uh, to try that first, and if that works, yes. Yeah. A lot of times it'll be the insurance factor, right? Because they are medical grade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they'll be able to be reimbursed. So yeah. just bringing the right. practitioner in on the call to advise and then order mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to make the sale. Um, yeah. You know, but then then okay. it would still be you that would follow up with the person on how they're making out and things like that. Okay. Awesome. awesome. One other question. I don't want to hog it, but uh, <laughs> I deal a lot, with, because I'm a senior, I deal a lot with seniors, and I sometimes have a problem with them looking at the cost. Yes. Does anybody else have that issue? Yes. Well, Gene, I think the other big, biggest thing that you have to be aware of is people, you have to understand what they're looking for with our technology yeah. and not to think that they're right. buying an expensive sock. What they're buying is a technology. Um, that's delivered right. through a sock. So that is so key right. to talk to them about. And this is a technology um, that can possibly help you with this, thus, and so. And so um, mm -hmm. then it's identifying what um, product fits their lifestyle the best. If they don't wear socks, then we have a patch. Um, you know, most definitely the patch is the technology. And so a lot right. of times if they think they're buying a sock, I said, well, don't buy a sock. Here, um, let's try some patches. And, um, right. you know, you've got the patches that is the technology. That is the technology where, you know, the socks is our technology that's woven into the sock. And so a lot of people think that they're right. buying this expensive sock. No, they're buying the technology that's delivered to the body through a sock. So the sock is just the landlord, yeah. right? So right. very, very important that's to understand, you know, what they're um, looking for in our technology. And Darlene will you know, certainly um, I, I agree with that because it's identifying. I'll give you a short, yeah. so, <clears throat> I'll give you a short version. If they can find a neurofeedback system with a TENS machine built in and the latest technology that's on a neural front for 40 bucks, they can order me a pack too. <laughs> <laughs> that, I like that. <laughs> Thanks for all your expertise. I really appreciate it. Love you, Jeannie. Good to see Love you. Love you too. You, I'm looking forward to seeing you in two weeks. <laughs> we'll be there. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else, please Bye. share share a tip with the field. Don't make me voluntold. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, it's Noelle from Chicago. Yay! Um, boy, is it nice. <laughs> It's so nice seeing all your faces up there. I'm so jealous. I would love to be up at the cabin. <laughs> oh, we wish you um, it would almost it would almost be worth two weeks of sitting somewhere uh, <laughs> in quarantine <laughs> and then two weeks back. Anyway, OK, my tip is um, something I picked up when Kevin Duguay came down here to Naperville. And it is something I use probably with every person that I'm talking to. Um, right now, we're doing farmers markets down here. So we do have a booth on Saturdays at this beautiful farmer's market in downtown Naperville. And it's got tons of traffic and we're, it's so great because we're getting to introduce the product to so many people. And it's been so much fun for my newer teammates who didn't ever get to do shows um, to now have an opportunity to be able to do a show essentially. So anyway, the tip is um, when people are kind of looking at me as I'm trying, I'm holding up the sock, I'm talking about the pattern and how um, the brain recognizes this pattern when they give me a look like I don't get what you're saying I say just turn around a second I'm gonna just draw a letter on your back and and you just tell me what the letter is and so I'll just kind of turn them around and I'll I'll draw an L on their back now granted L is pretty easy but everyone wants to be a winner right so they want to know the letter and they want to say it as quick as they possibly can and so they'll all say L and I'll say, yes, exactly. So you didn't see that, you didn't see that, but your brain instantly knew what that pattern was and how to say it. And it's the same way with these socks. 
your brain recognizes this pattern and it puts your brain in that calm state called homeostasis. And then I kind of go in a little bit more about stuff. But for me, that is a very wonderfully um, tactile and visual way to help people understand that the brain recognizes patterns. So that's my tip for the day. That's awesome. That's Noelle. really good, Noel. Yeah. I have a question for Noel. Well, it's Kevin Duguay for sure. He he totally taught me. But it is something <laughs> I use every single time. So I hope that helps you guys. It sure Absolutely does. Absolutely do. It's always good to hear um, from the captain of the team, Kevin Duguay. So Dugzy. I know you're on the call. We love you, brother. Wish you're up here at the lodge. And um, I got a quick question for Noel. Oh, um, Noel, Jen Moyer has a question for you. Yes. So, Noel, um, I have my name at a market uh, in our area, and I'm just wondering uh, how people are responding when you do the demo. You, you know, you kind of have to touch them, things like that. Uh, has it been an issue? Yeah, so basically when when I will say, like, would you like to do, you know, could I show you a, a quick little demo? Um, if they if they don't want to take their shoes off and they don't want to step on the insoles and we just want to use a patch, I'll say, okay, I'm going to sanitize your hands and mine right then. So we both have sanitizer because I am going to touch your hand. And then as soon as I am done touching their hand and they're, you know, in shock now because of what they felt, I'll say, okay, let's sanitize again. So no one has no one has even batted an eye about it. Um, and I don't know if that's just the general feeling kind of around here, or I mean, we're pretty locked down. Our kids are in school at home, so um, you know. Uh, but no, it really it really hasn't been an issue. I do wear um, I have a beautiful uh, mask that one of our teammates had embroidered box life on it. So that's super cute. But I actually, I don't wear the mask too much. Instead, I wear a face shield because I just feel like it's already complicated enough. What I'm trying to communicate to them is complicated enough without having to put a mask in front of it too. And so I want them to be able to see my entire face as I'm trying to communicate to them exactly what is this is all about. Um, because I just feel like it's already so kind of complicated. So yeah. I've been using just a face shield. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Well. Awesome. Come on, Dugzy. I know you're on there. Let's have a tip. <laughs> well, I just wanted to make sure other people talk, man. Jeannie's taking all, <laughs> taking all the time there. So, you know, seniors, man, they're, they're cutting in. <laughs> um, there's a lot of, there's, there's a lot of key things, but I, I think first and foremost for me was, was, was an unconditional, unrelenting faith and belief in the product. Yeah. And from that experience was just sharing from your own stories and having that posture as you talked about Terry, and we've all learned in our own growth that when you have your belief and where however you get there is when you get there nobody can take that away from you and when you speak from that perspective people go you really believe in what you're talking about don't you and i go yeah why you ask that because i can hear it in your voice and i think that you know that that was from a physician i had a call with on the west coast and she joined up after the phone call she goes, I, I'm listening to how you talk about this and your, your emotion and your compassion and your belief and your stories. And like, there's no hesitation. Well, you know, going, Kev, that's no. very true. And we don't have to have hesitation because we have science. No. So, and I mean, anybody oh, yeah. can look at before and after red brain, green brain or blue brain, green brain, right? So if that's not yeah. enough for people, then um, it, it would seem to me like they're going to be a bit more work than you want to put in. Yeah. And, you know, you guys moment, hit on some key moment, points. Yeah, where, I'm not talking about like moving beyond the moment because yeah. it might take two no. or three or four passes, right? No. Thanks, Mia. And you're so right where it's like, and I said, you know, I was on, I was on four Zoom calls today and everyone was about, you have to have your own experience with the tech. Yeah. I said, I, can, I, I, had, I had a call with a guy in the States today with a teammate in Florida. We're talking linebacking trio that he was a linebacker in college. 
So I'm making this analogy with HPT, CBT, and you know, this, that, whatever for him to understand, just as Darlene was talking, how do you make somebody understand this going, you got to talk to your language. And all of a sudden it's, okay, that's about running the playbook. That's about being compliant. I got to wear socks, insoles, and the sleeve. Yeah, that's your three linebackers. Yeah. And he said, I got it now. Okay, good. So we just, you got to speak in their language. You got to carry your head again. You got to listen to them. They yeah. want to know that you care. Are you, are, you, are you helping them solve their challenges? Are you giving them an option? What play do you want to run? Do you like the play you're running? No, uh, uh, your play sounds a lot better, Kev. Okay, run it. Run it. Try this. You know, go to, go to camp for 30 days. No, you can't go to Windy for 30 days, but you guys could. You keep getting loose, you're good. You know, just keep going <laughs> type of deal. <laughs> but, you know, posture, belief, and just that aspect is a huge part of just that you, you won't quit because it's, it's a high. Yeah, it's and a I, high when you get to help people. And I think the understanding you get, Kev, all of us that are getting, I mean, Jay put it very clearly you know, last week in his mentorship call about, yeah. it's not necessarily about how you look or feel, but it's about how you function. And, uh, yeah. you know, being able to function in, in, a, in a way that um, allows your life to be better is huge. So um, a lot of times people may look and, and think they feel the best, but they're not functioning well. And so oh. um, when we get to the point where we have, you know, um, belief that's so solid, built on rock here, um, you don't need to chase anybody. You just posture and be confident. You hear it in your voice. Um, and I think yeah. that's with a lot of things in life. If you're confident about, you know, if you're a mechanic and you're confident about fixing a car, your person, <laughs> if you're a person that's taking the car to that mechanic, you can tell that he knows what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah, um, and just a little compliment to, to, to send out to Kevin is that I think Kevin has a really unique gift for speaking people's language. Like if, if it's a plumber, he's talking to, he talks plumbing. And if it's a hockey player, he's talking to, he talks hockey. If it's a senior, he's talking to, he talks balance and where they're coming from and walking down the, the uh, hallway to the dining room. Like, I just think, you know, we should all, pay really close attention to how um, Kevin gets down to where the individual party he's dealing with um, is living. Like, you know, the, 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 the FedEx guy. And I just marvel, Kevin, at how you can speak people's languages. And I really, um, I really try to emulate that where I can, but it's an actual natural gift for you. Well, thanks, Lori. And, you know, I come back to what, what, Jay, what Jay expanded on, where, and Darlene can attest to this as, as a uh, medical prac, it's functional rehabilitation. Yep. Are, how are you functioning? Are you able to get back to doing what you were doing before? Are you able to perform what you have to do at your best? How, and this is so imperative from an athletics perspective. Can't play sports at 60%. Yeah. You're never getting back on the field. You have to be at least 90% to be back on the field, at least that. Otherwise, you're a weak link. <laughs> and now, now they really take advantage of you. Yeah. So I learned that, you know, that the functional part. Yeah, like the functional part is like so huge. And when you talk like that, people, again, people hear that you hear them. Yes. Yeah. That you're listening to me going, I'm, not, I'm, I'm working on six cylinders, Kev. <laughs> All right. Well, what if I can help you find the other two? That would be amazing. Because I remember what it was like to work on eight cylinders. Yeah. But I'm working at six. And how's that working for you? It's not. What do you been? And then you get into that stuff again. So just do the demo. There, I found your two cylinders. Holy jumping! What do I gotta do? Just put them on your feet. There's your two cylinders, right and left. You're good to go. Now you're up to eight. Now keep good going. Yeah. Keep wearing the tech. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Great tips. Thanks, dude. Anyways. As always, pleasure. We miss you up here, bro. Um, all you guys. Um, so listen. Hey Terry, I can jump on there, buddy. How you doing? Hey Paul. Paulie. Hey, how are you, bro? Good to see you. Hey, I know I've been like MIA, but I got lots going on, and I just had a disaster at the cottage with a septic thing. I'm not on cam for for reason. It's been uh, quite quite a situation. The the old pump to the septic. I had to 
figure out that situation and it, uh, there was an emergency and all that so anyway uh That's anyways it's great to well. see everybody i i love the format and uh i missed a little bit so i i don't know i might have missed a few things but uh a lot of the things people are saying is true but what i want people to know is um i see them kind of like sharing a, a couple meta patches or a couple neurovax patches and and somebody doesn't even know what hpt is and everything we built from the ground up was hpt we didn't need neurovax we didn't need any of these other ones so you have to lead with hpt always yeah. the, the the if you can get that to them that's once they see that feel that you know, do the demo if you can, do it from a distance, do it on Zoom, but have them feel the power of the HPT. And then the rest of the stuff is believable because a meta patch might go on in a couple days, you didn't feel anything. A Neurovax patch, just, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's yeah. just focus on that. And I know this call is going on and I don't want to take too long, but lead with hpt that's that's what i've always done that's what i still continue to do and then from that it's amazing what happens so yeah i i, I it's, agree it's, it's the building block yeah i agree it's it's basically the cornerstone it's mm -hmm. the foundation it's um you know it's 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 the balance uh, of homeostasis that controls the whole central nervous system and uh, will certainly uh, it's a great point, Paul, because once they have a, a confidence in HPT, it certainly opens up the door for, you know, a, a conversation about our other modalities uh, as well, for sure. So very, very good point. Great tip. Um, and sorry you had a shitty day uh, with regards <laughs> to your septic tank, but I don't know about it. So. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's, it's funny because I, yeah. I had the same thing up here today, bro, so I know what you're my heart bleeds for you. <laughs> I can hardly wait to get. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Anyways. The joy. It was, uh, yeah, it was shitty. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for, for jumping. Sure. On. Great tip for sure. HPT lead with it. You'll never go wrong. So. Yes, he said no pun intended. <laughs> so okay, we got time for one more. Who wants to give one more tip for the field, Come and then we can all field. say goodnight. Field, field. I'll give one. <laughs> I'd oh, like to give Carla. Hey, Carla. Oh, yes. I, too, like Noel, would love to be up there with you guys. This has been a great <laughs> forum. I've really there. enjoyed it. I think you guys should do this again. <laughs> well, my tip would be I'm a lover of learning. And, um, you know, being new to network marketing when I first started with Vox Life, there was a lot to learn. And so invest in yourself. Take the time to learn about the technology. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, well, I knew or I haven't spent much time and I don't know what they're talking about. Well, we have so many tools and so much amazing training. We have so many great leaders out there who offer training. Take the time to learn because that's the best way to get to know more about the technology and how to present it and how to help people. And that'll help to build your confidence. It also gets you more engaged. It's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's hard for me not to get excited every time I learn something new about Box Life technology or even just the business or personal development. So invest in yourself whenever you can is my And tip. implement, eh, Carla? Implement what you learn. Implement. Well, you know, Carla. Learn a little bit. And then we'll put it to work. <laughs> well, you know what? That's and, and that's a great point that and a great tip, Carla, because that's one of the four pillars of Ikigai um, that we're committed um, to self improvement. And self improvement is learning. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, one of the key factors that Ray Higdon, as a as a great trainer, um, a, a great trainer for the field of network marketing for the profession of network marketing, is ILT: invest, learn teach. And so it's a, the first one is invest, invest in yourself, invest in the learning. And, um, and when you invest in that, you can learn it and then you can teach it. So ILT. So great point for sure um, about investing in you um, to be, to be better for sure. So great point. And we wish you were up here too, by the way. So. I'll find you guys. Nice to see you. <laughs> okay. Well, Listen, we're going to wrap up. I um, just wanted to, uh, on behalf of the field, I wanted to thank these three wonderful ladies, wonderful teammates, Laurie, Darlene, 
Jen. Um, I want to thank them all for jumping on this call. We were able to pivot and come up with a pretty fun call tonight. Um, it was nice to get the field mixed in um, for sure. And so if you have tips and you didn't get a chance to speak on this call, um, we apologize, but please feel free to put your tip in the team page. Put your tip in the, um, in the team vaccination page and um, we encourage everybody to share um, because um, we're all invested in learning. And so we all want to learn to do better so that we can share this technology and make a difference in the world. So thank you all for being on the call. Please feel free to unmute yourself and say goodnight. And uh, we'll see you back here next week. It's the um, Real People, Real Results call. And we'll look forward to seeing you on that next Monday. And two weeks and hopefully we'll have some great um, training lined up for you uh, in two weeks' time. So thanks for all for being on the call. Good night, all. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, you. Good night Jim Bay. And everybody. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Hi, Abby. Hi, Karen. Hi, Nancy. Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>